All right, welcome back to another episode of the Hoagly Beer Reviews. Is it really an episode? I don't know. It's just a review. Whatever. Installment. That sounds better. We're going to do a beer, and I'll just be frank with you right away. I've had this beer uh, twice now, and I have not liked it both times. I'm giving it a final chance in this review. So if you are watching this review and you're just going, ah, oh, he's fucking biased, stop watching the review right away because this review is not for you. But I promise you I'm not being biased here. I'm actually just doing the actual review now. I think you'll be surprised to know that a lot of beer reviewers and whiskey reviewers on YouTube uh, drink some of these things before they do the reviews um, just to get a little handle on what they're in store for. I don't do it all the time, but once in a while I do. Uh, I just when I when I was given this, I didn't feel like doing the review. I sort of have a negative opinion of this company, um, and I think justifiably so. Uh, they've been making really shitty beer as of late. Um, their batches of their full steam stout and their pale ale have been pretty much garbage after the initial couple batches. And of course, we're talking about Rare Bird. And this is their red ale, new ale from them. It is, uh, I should read the uh, thing on it, I guess. Uh, it is 5% alcohol by volume. It was bottled on the 7th of April of this year. It says, just like the friendly folks in Nova Scotia's authentic seacoast rare bird red ale is easy going and great to spend some time with. Handcrafted with our Glanburn Artisan Water or artesian water, artisan water. Duh. Blah, 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 blah. This richly colored beauty opens with I don't need to know this shit. American hops and there's spice from Canadian rye. Meet your new best friend. Pure artesian water, malted barley. Rye, hops, and yeast is the ingredients and authentic seacoast is from Guysboro, Nova Scotia. Or the sucker. It's good enough for now. Let's look at the bottle. So here you go. Um, yeah, it's pretty red. Seems a little bit more lighter in red color than some of the other red ales around here. And then I'm not saying there's a knock to it. I'm just saying it's a different color. Uh, a bit more of an on the orange sort of scale in parts when you put the light through it white head going there well cream colored head anyway so go right to the aroma it's got sort of a toffee-ish smell to it maybe a little teeny bit of rye coming out in it but it's mostly just a malty toffee sort of smell just a hint of rye spice maybe uh, doesn't particularly stand out smells like okay red ale kind of thing you, you got your toffee caramel sort of malt character that's usually what you find in red ales so cheers we'll go right to the taste Um, so they're going for more of a traditional red ale here, more of a traditional Irish red ale kind of style. Um, more on the sort of dry side of things. Um, and maybe a little, even, not even as sweet as some of them. Um, they're definitely cutting down on the hops on this one. Uh, a lot of red ales these days you'll find they're a lot more hoppy than they've tended to be. Probably sort of a, an American innovation that sort of spread around I guess um, 
you'll find like Boxing Rock Temptation is fairly hoppy. Um, it's a good example of one from the local area. Um, this one, you get a little slight bit of uh, caramel toffee malt up front. Um, you get the rye in the back a little bit coming up. Some dryness in the back of the throat that lingers on. Uh, there's also a real weird kind of chalky dryness to it. See, initially it's not too bad. Here's the thing. When I was initially drinking this, I was like, okay, this is not too bad. But as I went on, that chalky dryness sort of built up, which I found kind of unpleasant, and the flavor kind of dies away for the most part. That chalky dryness sort of takes over the entire palate, and it kind of knocks down any flavor you're getting out of this beer, even when it, even as it warms up in the glass. It's got like a lower medium body. It eventually just turns into this um, bitter rye bread uh, crust kind of finish. And it's not bad. It's not terrible, but it's not all that great either. Um, it eventually just sort of loses all, all of its flavor. And uh, yeah, it doesn't work for me. Uh, I don't know. Some people you might enjoy it more than I do. And, and don't get me wrong, I really like rye. I, lo I love rye bread. I love uh, rye in my whiskeys. I like rye spiciness. This one really doesn't have all that much spiciness in it. Um, it's just more rye bread crust kind of thing. But maybe a bit too much of it for me. And it kind of dominates everything else and just leaves this chalky finish in my mouth that kind of blots out the rest of the flavor and the rest of the flavor isn't that big there's really not all, all that much maltiness and you kind of want that in a red ale that's sort of par with the style to have a really nice malty up front kind of caramel toffee kind of thing and that's what I was looking for in this and that's not what I got so that's why I kind of think this is worth really picking up honestly um, it's not a terrible beer I guess but I would not necessarily recommend it um well i'm gonna give it a bear pass all right uh we'll say that i'll give it a bear pass um which actually puts it up higher now than i would rate rare bird pale ale and rare bird uh full steam stout which in their current incarnations are absolute garbage uh but this at this point I don't know how it will sustain itself, if it will or not, uh, because of the history of their other brews going downhill. This is pretty much by default the best beer in their lineup that I've had so far, uh, or currently in their lineup that I've, I've had. So 2.5 out of 5 for Rare Bird Red Ale. It's just just taken to, take into account it's not... This is just my personal. This is just my personal opinion, right? I'm not as much as I don't like Rare Bird and Authentic Seacoast all that much because of bad experiences with batches of their other beers. Um, it's not a personal attack or anything. It's just this isn't all that good to me. It's not all that good. So you know, if you're gonna, it's a slight recommendation, but go into it knowing that you might not get much. Okay. And if you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comments. Try it out. If you think it's the best red ale in the Maritimes or the best red ale you ever had, or if it's just, you know, better than what I'm saying, please let me know. It's, um, I have no problem with different opinions. So, cheers, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.